who battle the entities are scattered all over Europe. We, the Hamiltons, are also of ruder stock. Of this lineage I am proud. The ruder blood is passed down to females. My wife, Francesca, was a ruder. In my naive youth, I did not believe any of it. I denied the presence of entities and ruders alike, preferring to believe that it was all just an old wives' tale. But then I found the Book of Entities, and Nancy began to sharpen her ruder powers. I finally opened my eyes to the truth and began my research into the subject. The ruder powers first appear in a young woman's early teens and peak at age 15. The powers then gradually diminish, usually disappearing entirely by the age of 20. For generations, the women of the Hamilton clan have spent their teens fighting against subordinates for the ruder cause, before marrying in their 20s in order to produce the next generation of ruders. Nancy is already 18. Her ruder powers are dwindling rapidly, and it is almost time for her to pass the job on to the next female. We Hamiltons think of our ruder blood as something of which to be proud, as well as a responsibility that must be taken very seriously. I am sad to give my beloved Nancy to another man, but it must be done. I will watch her marry with a broken heart. Another ruder has been born to the Hamilton household, my first grandchild. I chose for her the name Alyssa. She is bright and lively, perhaps even a little strong-willed, and yet appears somehow wise beyond her years. I pray she will grow strong and healthy and will fulfill her obligation as a noble ruler. A ruder family? So, I am a ruder. It's in my blood. Leave it to me, Grandpa. I have the same ruder strain in my blood as my mother. I can save Dorothy and Albert. Then and only then will I be able to leave this nightmare and see my mum again. I'm sure that's the way, isn't it?
little bit. Mother, what are you doing? I told you, you shouldn't wander around outside by yourself. I came to tell you that dinner's ready. And I told you that you don't need to be worried about me. Your old mother may have dicky eyes, but she's not on her last legs yet. You just concentrate on your work. Anyway, what is it you're making this time? Some new toy that'll have the local kids a gog, I bet. Actually, I've been busy making this. Albert, what's this? Winter's coming, and I don't want you catching cold, wandering around outside. I've been making this in my spare time. How is it, warm enough? It's lovely. So warm and soft. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>
there she is. Ha 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 ha! 